Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back for more Death Stranding. So, I'm currently at uh, Hartman's place and yeah, I'm ready to take the story mission. So basically, he is asking me to go here and here. So, yeah, I needed to take all the mission. Take both mission. A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. The strata of the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. One more thing, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter bomb. A Bridges paleontologist working on a dig says he needs it. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep beneath tar, and the only way he can get to them is by blowing it wide open. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra careful when handling high-yield explosives. But in case I do, make sure you keep that container in one piece, no matter what. Seriously, another anti-metal bomb? Are you freaking kidding me? I couldn't fabricate any vehicles at all. Shit. I think I'll check one of this. Because it makes it easier. Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extremely careful with that antimatter bomb, especially when transporting it by a carrier or vehicle. Any irregularities should trigger an alarm. Don't ignore it. I mean, at least I fall down. I don't think. It will hit the anti-matter bomb by using the carrier or something. Order assigned. I just freaking hope so. Uh, <clears throat> um, I just hope so, man. I guess I can put it somewhere if I if I want to go go and fight BTs or some something like that. I think it will be easier for me to run around. Okay, where is my pathway? Shit man, this is Quite far away. Man, don't have any vehicles that I can use. I don't. I think it will be better if I just go on foot. If I find any people's vehicle online, I don't think I will need it. Oh, I forgot I have to log in manually. Weapons restrictions lifted.
Now I can use the things that people left 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 there. Wow, there's a zip line. Actually, it will be nice if I build another zip line there. Shit, I didn't, I didn't think of it. <laughs> Never mind. I will just use my. I don't think I'm in the Cairo network right now. Oh, you just barely, just barely in inside the Cairo network. Still inside the Cairo network. So, should I build another? Should I build a zip line? Uh, what the hell, I will just do this my own. Um, currently I'm on the right path. Seriously <laughs> lucky, I have the all terrain skeleton level 2. Oh, I think... I won't be able to to go far with this. So I think this is the first time that I use the uh, use the uh, floating barrier. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell? Is that an avalanche or some something? Oh my god, that one! Scary man. I thought I heard a, an avalanche or something like that. Just outside the Chiron now. So basically I can climb anywhere that I want. As long as I have the floating carrier, it won't affect the affect the anti-matter bomb if I hit something or drop onto some somewhere. Because it, it I think it, I think because it was floating so it doesn't Yeah. What the hell is that? Not a good noise, man. What the worst? God damn it! I don't know if that is an avalanche or something. Just hope it doesn't drop on me. I'm, I'm amazed I'm amazed by this floating carrier you can follow me anywhere Luckily I have a lot of Cairo crystal to keep it floating I don't really know how many will consume like for a minute or some, something like that or how fast it will consume I got 5,663 right says that it used my Cairo pistol. So basically I'm not sure not sure how many it will consume or how long it will consume per time. How long it how long it takes to consume per time. This is freaking scary man. Okay, stay. Holy shit, look at the view. Okay. Damn. Holy shit, that looks like a BT area or some, something like that. God damn it.
I mean, I want to go down, but because I'm not sure, not sure where it will take me. It doesn't seem like there is anything there. So I think I will just cross here or something. Not good to deal with. Not good to deal with. Deal with uh, BTs right now. Because I got a bomb on me. <laughs> okay, nearly there. I think this is. This is the one that needs. That needed. Needed the anti battle bomb. Oh shit! Shit, shit, shit. Shit, man. Okay, come down, dude. Okay. Shit. Shit, I think they messed up my anti matter bomb. God damn it. Holy shit. It damaged the container, but. Shit, I need a spray. I didn't bring any spray. Nice man, nice. Good job, good job. God, so I didn't bring any spray at all. I can build a. Do I want? To... I couldn't. I don't think I can build here. I can build here without pyro network. Yeah. I was thinking of building a. I was thinking of building a building a time force shelter. And this follow me, seriously. Uh Okay, I will let it follow me and see what happens. I don't think this uh, this carrier just dropped down, is it? Yeah, lucky I didn't put any cargoes on it. It just dropped down. It will definitely damage my cargo. Good thing I bring bring an anchor. Oh man, I have to find another way to drop down. Man, oh! I know it was the snow, not not the drop, but the snow. Oh holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. It was the snow. Not the cargo itself. Not the fall itself, but the but the snow that damaged my 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 shit.
have to I still have to take that anti metal bomb with me. Delivering cargo. Sam Bridges. Oh, thank God for that. I, I was worried you might not get here in time. But then I've done nothing but worry of late. I've been haunted by those visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff? I put the nightmares down to fatigue. Uh, the possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me. Uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage. Dying's not an option. My research is nowhere near complete. It's not just my life you're saving here. It's my life's work. I started to wonder if I'd ever see these meds. I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Thank you. Okay, 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 okay. I think I can still get an S for that. They are cut with damage zero. So basically, it just damaged the, the container. So basically, the cargo isn't damaged. Okay, okay. I managed to get him to join the to join the UCA. Okay, deliverer. Legend you're making. Okay, Lingra 50. Oh, yes. Right then. <laughs> if you'd do the honors. With access to a treasure trove of historical research materials, studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once and for all that that's what it is. Honestly though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits and strata dating back 65 and a half million years? Evidence of an ancient death stranding. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source of the Chirelian readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of Corellium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the chiral network, you've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Okay, so basically... Oh, okay. It's related art. Uh, I'm not going back, so... 
let's just use this. Deploying autonomous delivery bot. Need to fabricate a spray. Climbing anchor level two. I don't need that. I have Cairo, Cairo climbing, climbing ladder. Um, is not enough to fabricate another one. Nice, but I think all of my stuff on me is damaged. Uh, non survival, BG gun. Whoa. Still, still okay. Okay, two guns and two PCC. Two guns, three guns, and two PCC. Uh, recycle pack, some pyro pistol to do it. Stuff. Um, two level two pieces three um two non little guns just in case and one BP handgun. Just in case that I need to fight. Thank you for your contribution. Okay, there's a resting place there, but I think I will continue. No need to rest. Let's go. Weapons restrictions lifted. Or well, maybe should I rest? Ah, never mind. Maybe until I reach the next area. I just want to continue the story. Let's follow the arrow. Okay, okay, slowly, slowly.
I wanted to use the bridge, but... But I think I will do it... Do it my own. I think it will be harder for me to, to go back down if I follow that path. man what the hell I was dropping onto the the ground just now what the hell man why is suddenly shifted and shifted and then drop further away what the fuck what the fuck is happening this is fucking bullshit man This is freaking bullshit, man. Oh, I better to just drop down the, the floating, the floating carrier. I think it will absorb some of the. Some of the fall damage. If I just use this, suddenly there is a bridge here. Okay, I will use your bridge. <laughs> use your bridge. I'll give you a light. I don't know why it's necessary to build a bridge there But I get that he, he or she, that person Maybe just want to help or something I mean that is, a easy, that is an easy path so I don't know why it's necessary to build there What is this? I thought I saw a hologram or something. Or oh, a BT. Yeah, it definitely absorbed my uh, absorbed my fall. So it doesn't affect the the bomb. When I fall down, I will just damage my own cargo. You can see that just now I was, I was trying to try to drop down the the stone there but I don't know why it just suddenly skip two steps and then drop onto the drop onto the stupid stupid ground. That is some serious bush in it. Luckily I bring the bring Luckily I brought the carrier. Okay. Yep, it will follow me anyway. And we and I can fall down. I can fall down with no I can fall down no problem. With no problem at all. Because it, it absorbed the absorbed the fall. Am I still going on, on the right path here? Let me remove the marker and create a new one. Oh. I need to slow to slowly go now. Okay. This seems like Good path for me to just drop down. Fucking hell, man. 
man it looks like just now from from my eyes it looks like uh just a small fall and definitely he can take it but no he just dropped down and hurt the baby and his own makes no freaking sense at all i mean even with all of the cargoes i didn't even I didn't even carry, I'm not carrying half of the weight, half the weight that he can end, that he can handle, and he couldn't handle that small drop. I mean, what the, what the hell, man. Even I can do better than that. I'm not joking. I mean, it's a tiny fall, I don't understand. Another song. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, stop here for a while because yeah, I don't want any for oh, shit, shit, shit. I don't want to get get flagged by the copyright shit. Okay, stop here for a while. Okay, I need to go down there. Can I just use my anchor? Ah, shit. Holy shit, container damage. Oh shit, the, the wire, the wire has broken or something, damn man. Shit. Uh, I think I need another path. He's able to <laughs> to drop on that ledge, but no, he just have to fall down. I mean, I think I think that spot is landable if my calculation is right. But no, he has to like bounce off the bounce off the. Freaking wall. I don't freaking understand. <laughs> so basically, you couldn't attach. Attach it and climb down the. And climb down the freaking. Freaking climbing. Cli climbing an anchor. You have to. You have to like. You have to you have to carry it on your back and then climb down the climbing anchor because because the the the, the line will snap so that is that that is good to know okay I think I will check my cargo first did did I damage it I think I only damaged the 
the carrier or something. Yeah, container damage. That that means nothing. Uh, still able to get us for that. Much appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs> Not that I need to tell you. <laughs> you did it after all, though I can't for the life of me imagine how. Yep, zero percent. Nice. Okay, still, still have some hidden area that I didn't explore. I mean, in the previous area. Oxygen mask, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Finally, 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 I got the Hermetic Grenade level 2. What the hell, man? As it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it en route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity, which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... Y you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Good work. New order available. Mm, okay. Please access delivery terminal for further information. An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. But it does, so don't. Okay, good to know, but the one that I need is the Hermetic Grenade Level 2. 
floating carrier you can I think I will recycle that and recycle this I think my PCs is already popped up okay climbing anchor still usable level one three level one okay I will change it to level two finally I got a level two one the level two ones I mean previously I was using custom one which I couldn't get back if I want to Big area. I use the oxygen mask. Is it here? Nice. Whoa. Oh, that vehicle's here. Nice. I see it's quite near so Okay still doable Hmm there are a lot of vehicles that I can use Oh so it's down there Okay yep, Thank you for your For your For, for your reminder Okay mm, Have to wear it now I encountered an area like this previously. Near the place where you can find the film ma film ma maker. Select all five. Okay. So currently I can go back right now Whoa, looks dope man, looks cool The map So in the so yeah there's a there's a hole like this near the film film maker uh filmmaker's place and uh, stay in the area okay no as well and your consciousness gate 
so if the one fully different you will no, no longer be able to move and oxygen mask can be worn to protect from this effect yup and there is a there's a hole like this and yeah I, I went down and I nearly killed myself I I think I did kill myself and basically I feel like uh, climb down quickly and climb up quickly before I, I, I pass out because there's a there's a memory chip down there so that, that is why that is that is why I go down there Because I want the memory chip. So basically, you can survive that as long as you don't let your consciousness bar to deplete. Begin scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Oh, I thought this. I thought this. I thought that hole was the was the door to the to the shelter. Preserved. Uncannily even. Okay. Okay, mass frame. Ludens mass frame. Oh. Backpack color. Okay. All useless light. Thanks for bringing in that lost shipment, Sam. And yes, it did indeed include an ammonite with a bona fide umbilical cord attached. I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I. I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evodevo biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable, and that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. Good work. New order available. Seriously, just sideway me again. So basically, I think I need to go down if if the if my if I remember correctly, is that the one that I that that he asked me to go previously in the previous video? I forgot. Because I thought I have to go further down, but I think that is the third one that I need to like to clear this place, this area. So basically, I need to go. What that that that's quite far away, man. Um, standard order. I think I can ask my boss to do it. Deploying Alright guys, think I will stop this video right here and then continue in the next one. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And please give this video a thumbs up and share this out to your friends. If you if you if you like it.
and you want if you want to see, see more from me uh, yeah please please subscribe yeah and share and like <laughs> so yeah thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys soon bye